Hey, Notre Gay, and hello, Eurovision fans. It is William Colling from Wee Vlogs, and she, Queen of the Kings, Alessandra, has won Norway's Melody Grand Prix 2023. She, of course, has already topped the global viral Spotify charts. She's been in charts all over the world. This song is having a moment. Hey everyone, welcome back to Wee Wee Vlogs. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful day. The sun is shining. I feel good. I feel better. I still have coughing, but hey, we are getting, you know, cured. <laughs> and today we are going to be reacting to Alessandra, Queen of Kings. She won Melody Grand Prix Girl. Yes, all right. Should we talk about it? Let's do this. <laughs> I gotta say, I didn't watch the final of Melody Grand Prix because I was in Benidorm, you know, watching the grand final of Benidorm. Um, I was surprised actually because I, I was expecting uh, Ulrike to win, uh, to be honest. I know, I knew that uh, Alessandra had that banger Queen of Kings, but hey, she, she slayed, I heard. She slayed, I heard. And I cannot wait to watch the live performance because she's a queen. So when I saw this during the semifinal, it was on a smaller stage. So I'm excited to see how it looks inside Trondheim Spectrum. Hitting pa la. Mmm. Wow. Love the color. Wow, those lights. Look at her presenting. Is that Norwegian? She's like, I am here. Oh mm. wow, look at the crowd. Oh, I love the cape. I love the... Oh. She's a golden queen, honey. I like the mystery here, the darkness. Alessandra Yulin Shell, exactly. <laughs> golden soul <laughs> and golden queen, yes. Oh my gosh, she sounds so good, what? Northern Lights, show us the Northern, Northern Lights, honey. I love the light effect. Simple, simple spotlight. Light, 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 light. Oh. oh, you are going to conquer. Oh, there are her girls and her boys. Oh, yes. Walk that dog, girl. Walk that dog. What? This is so good. This is a beat. Oh, hey. Get whiplash. Bam. Bam. She will be a warrior. Yes. Very nice. Oh, she good use of these so bodies behind good. her. So mm. giving some attitude. We need that because you're all a these queen affirmative queen. actions, the yes. strength, the power. Break the chain. The gold. The glued sideburn hair tendril. Glue it down. Such a bar. Oh, the cape is gone. Oh, she's ready to slay. Oh! Rawr. Oh, I love that. The stomping, oh, I, the hip action. I'm absolutely loving the staging. I wonder if they will change it, you know, for Eurovision or make it bigger. Good light stick action. Oh, she sounds so good. I gotta say it like every time, but she sounds really, really good. I like this mystical quality. Oh, I don't know that part of the song. Almost feels musical theater. Very much at the club. Come on, girl. Spiritual. Oh, big, big Let it out, girl. Oh my gosh, I cannot do it. That's the wow, moment. Oh, girl. The whistle note what? moment. Hey! That whistle top. Oh my gosh. She's oh a pocket gosh. rocket. Oh, she's like. Wow. Oh, yes. She said woo. woo. She woo, said girl. woo. Yes. Treating it like what? a sporting event. That is what Alessandra, Queen of the Kings, just did. Done, we are done, we go home. Bye. Alessandra, Queen of Queens, Melody Grand Prix. Oh my gosh, I literally I'm shaking right now. What was that? Oh my the quality, the energy, the attitude, the vocals, the staging, the dance moves. Girl, she, she she's good. 
She's good, honey. Yes. All right, there's a lot to love here. Musically, I think this is very Norwegian sounding. This sort of fairy tale Norwegian woods fantasy. Uh, we got that with, I don't know, Witch Woods, with Spirit in the Sky. Norway's very good at these songs that you kind of, you know they're not from where you are, and then when you know it's from Norway, you're like, of course that's from Norway. I like the strong beat. It gets in your body pretty quickly. You just want to be going boom, boom, boom. And the song is very dynamic. It builds to that whistle note moment. There's the spiritual, ah, you know what I'm saying? It's like very, mm, get me some kind of chiffon blowing in the wind, get me some smoke. I don't know, it's a peyote moment. It's, it's that peyote spiritual moment, which I love. Alessandra, she's strong. She looks really strong. She's the center of the stage. She's the fulcrum around which all the energy can spin around the flames. You know what I'm saying? She's there. There's just this gravitas to her. Love her choreography. The way she uses that hip. The way I, I was saying she walks the dog. It's more like she's walking a mastodon because the arm is up here. But she's in control is the point. There's that Khaleesi moment throughout. Not a Khaleesi moment. It, it, it's a Khaleesi vibe. There's that Khaleesi vibe throughout. I wonder if she studied, you know, theatrical uh, stuff because she's really good at, you know, acting and, um, you know, 100% giving the character of the song. I remember when I was in Spain, you know, at the Euro Club and they were playing that song a lot, actually, and every single person knew the lyrics. <laughs> That's so cool. I feel like this, I feel like Norway can um, have another televote winner this year, you know, at Eurovision and maybe jury winner as well. But I'm 100% sure this is qualifi qualifying to the final. Norway could even, you know, go to the top 10, even top 5 because this song is really loved by the, by the fans including me, I really, really loved it. And live is even better. Like for me personally, I think the live version is more impactful than the uh, audio version. And if she releases a live audio, I would definitely buy it on iTunes. Oh my gosh, Alexandra, Alexandra. One concern I have is it's very dark. I like how it starts, you know, with the purple light. I mean, you see Alessandra emerging from the dark, but it's just really dark the whole time. And I wear contact lenses and I'm like, is our girl there? Maybe if they just turn up the brightness a little, um, it's great that they have things popping out of the dark, the cross white lights, the glow sticks, um, the dancers, I guess their gold kind of catches the light. But I think people want to see more because there's something very exciting going on here. I get that the darkness adds to the mystery, but it doesn't have to be pitch black, you know? <laughs> you can have a little bit of light. Um, of course, in Torino, gosh, when Cornelia was on the floor, the floor looked so dirty. Maybe avoid floor shots, but hopefully the BBC floor will be clean. This is the kind of song that finds good middle ground, right? Some people will hear this and be like, that is so Eurovision. So a lot of people will hear this and they're gonna be like, oh my God, it's so Eurovision. Hey, that's okay. Whatever that means, whatever that means, that's fine. I get that vibe. Being this is so original, so out there, we don't hear this in our daily life. Yes, it's so Eurovision in that sense. But at the same time, this is a well-produced song. You cannot deny that. This is catchy. It gets stuck in your head. And I think it's going to be able to carry lots of people, both from the Eurovision world, but also from outside the Eurovision bubble. People who just tune in from time to time or casually. Um, it, it's found the middle way. I would also really like for her dancers to get some more of that spotlight because they're looking good. I, I feel like she's so... Uh, she's such a young person and yes she's 20 years old ladies and gentlemen she's 20 years old oh my gosh and she lived in in italy girl girl celebrating diversity international going international like congratulations alessandra thank you so much for this beautiful performance all right, Norway is, of course, competing in semi-final one. Just so you know, this includes, in the first half, Croatia, Ireland, Latvia, Malta, Norway, Portugal, and Serbia. And in the second half, Azerbaijan, Czech Republic, Finland, Israel, Moldova, Netherlands, Sweden, and Switzerland. Also voting in the semi-final will be the big five countries of France, Germany, and Italy. Oh, as well as non-participating countries under an aggregated vote known as rest of world. Now look, I don't think Norway's gonna have any problem 
qualifying. In a televote only situation, what's not to love? People are gonna be dancing, they're gonna be moving. We should remember though that she topped both the televote and the jury vote in Norway, so there is love for this on both sides of the aisle. All right, I wanna read some comments from the Weebly Blogs website. Jonko Fui says, I listened to this song just once yesterday and I have had the You Queen of the Kings stuck in my head the whole night. I have even woken up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom and the first thing that came to my mind was You Queen of the Kings and and I don't even know if that is exactly what she sings. <laughs> All right, there's a lot to unpack there um, about what inspired you to say you queen of the kings. Yes, this song gets stuck in your head. Next is Euro Toxic. Okay, can't wait to read this one. I don't understand the success of this song. For me, it is old and cheap. It reminds me of Ruslana winning with Ukraine almost 20 years ago. We are in 2023. Cycles, babe, cycles. What's old becomes new, what's new becomes old. All I know is this makes my body move. I feel this deep inside. Mark says, Norway's song is dated. 2007 called, they want the trashy song back. Just Saying says, still surprised to see Norway wasn't disqualified for a blunt and clear plagiarism of Patty and the Rats' Ships We Sail. So I listened to that song and I understand what you mean that there are some similarities, but you know, music is, pop music is one big Venn diagram, right? You do a sea shanty or take elements of a sea shanty. It's going to sound like another song that has elements as a sea shanty. You know, it, it is what it is. They've definitely taken this in a whole new direction. Tallow says, a well-deserved winner. Don't be surprised if this lands top three in Liverpool. The last time we had a Melody Grand Prix soak up the majority of the points, it was right back. So things are looking good for Alessandra. Not to mention her song is already viral on TikTok without even having Eurovision as a platform. The more I think about it, the more I think this could win the televote in Liverpool. I'm so excited for Alessandra. Yeah, I think this is a televote contender for sure. It has all the elements, catchy, out there, outrageous, but still musical. And also, Norway can work with this staging. What they did in Trondheim Spectrum was really quite beautiful, actually, and filled with subtle surprises. Just turn up those lights! Eurovision fan says, I feel children are massively watching Melody Grand Prix. Well, children do vote at the adult Eurovision too, so that only helps her. Alex says, she is the textbook definition of slay. Good luck, Norway. Well, that's what we think. What do you think? Are you vibing with this theme of female empowerment of she, queen of the kings? Let us know here on Wee Wee Vlog. Yeah, thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. I hope you like it, and I hope you like the song, Queen of Kings. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have lots of videos coming up. Yeah, keep slaying, keep glowing. You're amazing. Love you so much. Bye! Bye. <laughs>